So, it's Monday night in Soho. I'm just back from the Shetland Film Festival. The closing film at the Shetland Film Festival, the screenplay festival, was Monsters, the Gareth Edwards movie, which he always described as being like a documentary about the aftermath of an alien invasion. Well, now, on Monday night, I'm going in to see Troll Hunter, a documentary, faux documentary, about, well, troll hunting. Huge in Norway. Let's see what it looks like. So there it was, Troll Hunter. What was it like? Well, I'll give you the kind of thoughtful, considered review on Friday between uh, 2 and 4 on Radio 5. And my immediate reaction is this it's like an episode of The Muppets meets The Blair Witch Project, or Cannibal Holocaust had it been directed by Frank Oz. I mean, it is essentially exactly what it says in the tin it is a faux documentary about a guy hunting trolls. I mean, big trolls, you know, proper big trolls. Trolls that, when you expose them to sunlight, turn into stone. And it asks important questions like, if they can smell the blood of a Christian man, can they smell the blood of a Muslim? And do they genuinely explode under certain circumstances? When I was thinking about it, it, it made me start wondering what it was about the faux documentary that has had such longevity. When you think back to movies like Blair Witch Project, the key thing with the Blair Witch Project was people did believe it was real. I remember when it was first shown, I think it was the Edinburgh Film Festival, I saw somebody get completely freaked out because they bought into the whole found footage thing. Now, obviously, nobody's going to believe for one moment that Troll Hunter is real. But around the same time as Blair Witch Project, there was another film, Last Broadcast, which is connected to Blair Witch. And that said at the end of it, these events are fictional but please don't tell anyone. It kind of accepted that everyone knew the joke. And ever since then, we've had loads and loads of faux documentaries, which we all know from the outset that it's not real. And yet somehow the style still works. And it reminded me of something that John McNaughton said about Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. See, a lot of people talked about that film as being radical and revolutionary because it wasn't fantastical. It was real, it was verite. But John McNaughton said this about it. He said, we were looking for something to evoke real horror and we needed a device and the device we used was realism. See, the interesting thing with faux documentary, even in the case of troll hunting, is actually it does the thing that all drama is meant to do. It enables you to suspend disbelief, even when you know it's all made up. None of this is true. Nobody is really going to do what it says at the end of the film, which is go and find out what really happened to these kids who were troll hunting. But it's a device. Like anything else, realism is a device. John McNaughton used it. The makers of The Blair Witch Project used it. Now the troll hunters have used it. More on Friday, but basically Muppets meets Blair Witch in a good way. <laughs>